Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be talking about my number one strategy, which is meditation. And I want to show you and take you along on a little journey with me because I'm going to go do a meetup with some people for a meditation group. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and welcome to my channel. One of the people that I follow for meditation is Dr. Joe Dispenza. You might have heard of him. I actually went to one of his week long retreats, which was in the beautiful Sunshine Coast of Australia. And today I'm going to go meet up with some of those people people and other Dr. Joe enthusiasts for a beautiful meditation. So I think we're doing about an hour and a half meditation today. If you need a meditation, that might even freak you out a bit. But you know, I just started with five, 10 and 20 minute meditations. About once a week, I will indulge in a much, much longer meditation, but you've got to do what works around your family. But I also feel that you need to make this a high priority. The reason I feel so strongly about this is because years ago I had depression for about four years and meditation is what healed me. I went from being clinically depressed to not depressed anymore in four short months. I think that's pretty incredible. And so it's always been something that I feel is, yeah, a really high priority for me. So why don't you come with me? We're gonna go to this meetup and I'll show you kind of like what it's about and stuff like that. And if you are a Dr. Joe fan as well, then you might think about going and meeting up with some people in your local area. Let's go. I want to give you a couple of tips though of what I've learned about meditation and how it has helped me because this will really help you because I think a lot of people feel like they can't do meditation or maybe they don't understand so much about what it could do for you in your business and running a family. I've been meditating for quite a few years on and off but I do find that having a little eye mask is actually super helpful. You definitely don't need one of these to get started to do meditation but when I went to Dr. Joe's stuff, I realized that everybody was wearing these eye masks. I'm like, why? I can just meditate with my eyes closed, fine. But I found like this blacks out so much of that extra light, kind of is a trigger to your subconscious mind that you're really like blocking out any of that stuff and you're going kind of into another world. <laughs> so I do find that having a little eye mask helps. You know, if I don't have it, fine, I will still meditate. But I do find that this does help me switch off a little bit more. Can you rest your awareness in the space? So there was about 50 people at that meetup group and then we went to a beautiful little cafe restaurant after and had some drinks and some food and I met some people that I actually was at the last retreat with for Dr. Joe but it was really nice to reconnect as well and you don't feel like you're crazy because you're talking about you know meditation and having breakthroughs like if, if you're into like personal development you'll understand what I mean sometimes when you try and talk to family and friends who are not into this sort of stuff it can be really awkward. So this was super nice. The second thing I recommend is actually going in groups. So when you're going in groups, you feel like you are, I guess, almost obligated to go sometimes. So it will get you out of those bad habits of not wanting to do it sometimes. If you're locked into a group meditation or you've said you're gonna go with someone, you're more likely to go. I guess it's kind of like when you're doing exercise at the gym, you're not always motivated to do it by yourself, but if you're going to a group class or a group training, then you are more likely to go. So I regularly go to group things just to make sure that I make myself go and do a group meditation. The other thing that made it easier for me as well was to make sure that I was doing it regularly, even if that meant shorter sessions at a time. In fact, when you've got that practice down pat of actually doing it regularly, you will make time in your day. I know, 
no one's got time to do meditation you've got to make time and so I started with just like five ten minutes I then went to a course I was kind of doing 20 to 30 minutes and then when I went to the Dr. Joe retreat we were doing hour to hour and a half we even did four hour meditations I never ever ever thought I'll be able to do that that's crazy anyway I fit it into my day today and now I'm going to get my kids from their boat man you should check out some of these boats oh even the jet ski on the back oh, actually look at this other one that I found it's called the secret one of the very 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 first books I read manifesting and creating the life you want how cool is that nice sign universe nice sign you don't want to go home <laughs> hey Maxi hey buddy Hi. honey buddy okay Oh, wow. Okay, go. Maxie, you want to have a hold? Ew, 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 ew. I've touched them before. They're disgusting. Maxie, show us. <gasps> Jelly blubber. Ew, that's cool. Down the bag, they're slimy. Oh, yuck. Oh, gross. Ew. So I hope you enjoyed that little journey with me. I'll put some links below to Dr. Joe's stuff if you've not been into it or you're just getting into him or you just want to devour more and more of his work. I'll put it in the description below. But reach out to me if you have any questions about Dr. Joe or meditation or how you incorporate it into your life, being a busy mom and building your own business. I have lots of thoughts on this and in my coaching, I incorporate some of this stuff as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your other Dr. Joe friend fans as well. And if you haven't subscribed, click the subscribe button and make sure you ding that bell. See you in the next video.